Let's begin tonight with Busia Senator Okia Omtata, who claims his life is in danger. The vocal legislator and activist who formally lodged a complaint with the authorities linked President William Ruto to the threats emanating from his sharp criticism of government policies and the cases he has lodged opposing them. As Chemtai Goen reports, the president came under censure from a section of Azamir leaders who frowned upon his utterances, hitting out at unnamed individuals going to court to stop government programs. Busia Senator Okeo Mtata, who is among litigants in the case seeking to quash the housing levy, who won the first round of the battle by getting it declared unconstitutional, says the president directed an attack at opponents of the law and that his life was in danger. He issued a death threat against me and other people who have gone to court and successfully challenged his uh, basically nonsensical uh, housing, so-called housing uh, fund, uh, housing levy fund, or housing levy tax, whatever it is. So he made remarks whereby he directly uh, referred, isolated the people who had taken that case to court and said that he was given a sword, the ceremonial sword was given at Kasarani and that he was going to use that sword not to chop vegetables, not to chop vegetables. He was not given that chop, that sword for chopping vegetables, but for dealing with crooks like myself and others who had gone to the High Court and successfully challenged this housing, so-called housing levy fund. On Saturday during a fundraiser in Mosocho, Kisi County, President William Ruto hit out at individuals he said were frustrating government operations through unending injunctions against government policies. Yule mtu ambaye anaenda kotini ati wanataka kuzuia ati tusijenga manyumba hawa vijana wapata ajira. Ati tusifanya hile kazi yote ndio Kenya tibadilishe. Hawa ni watu ambao ni maadui wa taifa letu la Kenya. Na mimi nataka ni wakikishie nyinyi mnimpatia uwezo hawa watu wote ambao wanataka kutuzuia mimi nitapambana na wao. Mimi nahitaji tu maombi yenu. Kwa sababu si mnajua nilipatiwa panga pale nilipatiwa sword kubwa hivi. Bana mnafikiri hiyo sword ni yako kata mboga. Si ni yako fieka wakora hawa. Eh ndio wafieka kabisa. Brother Max I had two issues that got me concerned. The first issue was that the president was threatening violence against that group, and the kind of violence that exterminates, he was threatening to kill people by saying he's going to slash them. And uh, another thing, the second thing is that he deliberately dehumanized the people who went to court by calling them crooks. Omtata says it is an infringement of his right as he was frustrated by police and was unable to record the statement on what he sees as a threat to his life. On Sunday, I went to Langata Police Station, making an attempt to report this matter to get an OB. I was kept there for more than six hours, being taken around. Eventually, one of the junior officers came and said, my brother, the discussion I've picked is that they are, going to, they are not going to record your statement. And what I would advise you to do is to go to the crime scene where the crime was committed. That's in Kisi. Go to Kisi in Mosocho and make a report in Mosocho. I'm sure those policemen will not be able to, re to refuse. Eventually, at Mosocho Police Station, the Busia Senator was able to obtain an OB number 03 stroke 19 stroke 12 stroke 2023. But he was told due to his status in society, his statement needed to be recorded by a senior officer. He was asked to go to Nyancho Police Station. And the second thing he comes in and tells me, do you know that you cannot accuse the president of anything? I said, where do you get that? He says it's in the law. I asked him which section of the law. He didn't, he didn't even know. So I told him, the only, the only thing you can do is look at Article 143. He sort of uh, became angry and began shouting at me and saying, I'm not going to record your statement. You can go anywhere you want, but we are not recording your statement. And so stop wasting your time here. 
Well, at that point, I saw that there was no point dealing with somebody who thinks he can operate outside the law. So I decided to say, okay, I will uh, pack and go. Though he got an OB number, Omtata has not yet recorded a statement. Nyamira Senator Kongo Mogeni, who was in a separate function, implored the president not to interfere with the independence of the judiciary by threatening judges who injunct parliament. Tunakuomba rais uheshimu mahakama. Vile wa Kenya waliheshimu wakati mahakama ilitoa uamuzi kwa kusema kwamba wewe ndio utakuwa rais wa Kenya. Usipoheshimu mahakama utakuwa unaweka nchi yetu katika hali ya hatari. Omtata says he will forward the matter to Ipoa and the police headquarters and sue the officer that declined to take his statement denying him his rights. Chemutai Goin Citizen TV.